Hey everyone, it's Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Thanks for coming by to another one of my quick tip videos. This one has to do with photography and staging. Uh, one of the viewers was asking me about a photography and staging video, so I figured this is a perfect one. I put it up on my Instagram account recently, uh, but I figured I'd do a little bit more of an extended version of it since it got a good reception. And that has to do with um, keeping items stabilized that are circular, where you want to get a picture of the uh, bottom of the item. Now, I recently did this with some uh, British orange marmalade containers. They were stoneware. I picked it up at a recent uh, haul video that you saw when I went to the, the fireman's house and uh, I picked them out of that box that was in the basement uh, for like a buck each and they both sold within 24 hours for $35. And one of the things on the bottom of it that was you know really cool that I wanted to feature was it said made in England. Another one said pot made in England. So there are sometimes some cool things that you want to uh, show on the bottom of an item. Now, I sold both of them, so I don't have it left anymore. And that video uh, that I did about it is on my Instagram account, at prime underscore time underscore treasure, if you want to check it out. But uh, that was really quick. This one's a little bit longer. So uh, what I have here is a Ben & Jerry's tumbler, just as another example. Now, uh, with the Ben & Jerry's tumbler or any tumbler or cup or you know cylindrical item like this, you obviously want to get a main picture of the front of it. And you know I like to get a picture of I essentially break it down into four sides. So, but you want to get a picture of the top and you also, uh, I like to get a picture of the bottom. I mean, is it essential on an item like this to get a picture of the bottom? I mean, no, it'll still sell like this. But again, this is just to, you know, show an example of the technique. Now there is some writing on the bottom of this cup. I don't think it's essential to highlight, but I do like to show this type of stuff. You can see there it says Whirly, which is the name of the company that shows it. And I am a big believer in keeping things straight for the buyer. So I like to have my items that they're pictured and photographed straight. I think things look more sellable when they're straight as opposed to crooked. So even the writing, I like to make sure that that's on a proper viewing angle uh, for potential buyers. So I'm going to show you uh, on my display board over here uh, the problem with when the item won't stay stable and what to do using the nickel trick to fix it. Okay, so here's the item, and I'm obviously gonna take pictures of it like this, but for the purpose of this video, I am focused on the bottom. And the way I want it to look is I want this part that says Whirly and Warren to be featured right up top there so it's very easy for the buyer to read that just in case they were you know searching for that company name uh, Whirly that makes these uh, vintage tumblers. And so um, if I had it like this, okay, which is kind of how it naturally would lay, the person has to kind of read it somewhat upside down. And I wanna make things as easy as possible uh, for the buyer. That's a general rule of thumb with your photographs. Make things as easy as possible. Don't make people have to work to figure out what's going on. So if I just naturally set it like this, the problem is that it's going to roll over like that. And so I'm not gonna be able to take the picture the way I want. So what a lot of people do in this situation is they take their hand and they hold the item like this. They have one finger on it. They take the picture and then they try to crop out part of the hand. But the problem is you're still gonna have a tip of your finger in there. And I don't think that looks as good as if you could have a clean shot. So what a lot of people will do instead is they'll take a flat item like this and they will brace it against the object and they'll keep it flat that way and then zoom in and take the picture. And it does solve one problem. You're not going to have anything like your hand or finger overhead showing in the picture. But uh, even though you could crop from here out, you're still going to have this part showing in the picture. And I like to have a nice clean image so all we see is the bottom like this. So the way to get around that problem is by using a nickel. And how do you use a nickel to solve this problem? Well, I'm gonna show you. You just take the nickel and you position it in the back of the item. You just tuck it away in the back. You position it exactly how you want to. And now we have everything just how we want it. We have the letters showing nice and straight 
and we don't have a hand coming over the top and we don't have an item underneath that you could see. Now you could use other coins for this like a quarter, a penny or a dime, but the nickel is ideal. The reason why is that depending on the item, sometimes what will happen is if you use the penny or the dime, the item will roll right over it because it's just so thin, especially the dime. Uh, sometimes you will even see with a quarter, depending on how big the cylindrical item is, is that because it's longer, it will sometimes peek out a little bit. So the, the nickel really is ideal because it's both small and it's thick. So uh, that is why I call this the nickel trick and you should uh, use it when you're in this situation and you want to uh, get a nice straight picture of the bottom of that item without it rolling away anymore. All right, everyone, I hope that you liked that quick tip video. If you did, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell. Click that bell. That gives you alerts whenever I do something like go live or a new video comes out. And I am going live tonight. So this is May 8th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You definitely want to come by because I'm going to be talking toys with Brandon from Retro Junk 1987. That is going to be a blast. So if you like toys or you want to learn about reselling toys. There is big, big money in that area. Make sure you come by. If you're watching this on a delay, just go to my playlist. You'll see the interview section. Uh, just go to the interview with uh, Brandon from Retro Junk. So uh, I hope that you, uh, again, enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure that you come to the Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. We are nearing in on 9,000. It's getting closer every day in terms of the number of members. And make sure you come to my Instagram account. That's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. I'll see you at the next video, everyone. Take care.